Hello friends, this is Michael, the insurance pastor. I'm going to take my pen out so I don't look quite so nerdy. But I had a word I wanted to share with you. I didn't get around to my regular Wednesday night Bible study, and so I thought I would uh, do the pastoral side here and just give a brief little um, thought that I had here. I was thinking about a passage in Matthew chapter 25. It's called the parable of the talents. And of course, um, it says in, in verse 14 of chapter 25, so it will be as when a man going on a journey called his servants and entrusted them to, to them his property, to when he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, each according to his ability. And a talent was more than 15 years wages of a laborer in that day and time. Uh, of course, God also gives us talents, like abilities as well, too. You can probably apply that here as well. But said, uh, then he went away and he who had received the five talents went at once and traded with them and made five talents more. So also he who had the two talents made two talents more. But he who had received the one talent went and dug in the ground and hid his master's money. Now after a long time, the master of those servants came and settled accounts with them. And he who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five talents more, saying, Master, you delivered to me five talents. Here I've made five talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I'll set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. And he also, who had the two talents, came forward saying, Master, you delivered to me two talents. Here I have made two talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. He who also had received the one talent came forward saying, Master, I knew you to be a hard man reaping where you did not sow and gathering where you did not winnow. So I was afraid and I went and hid your talent in the ground. Here you have what is yours. But his master answered him, you wicked and slothful servant. You knew that I reap where I have not sowed and gather where I have not winnowed. Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers and at my coming I should have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to him who has the 10 talents. For to everyone who has will more be given and he will have abundance. But from him who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And the, cast the worthless servant into the outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. I mean, that sounds hardcore, doesn't it? You know, these two were, you know, made the money and uh, increased it. But this, this other one just said, well, I'm so afraid that I might do something wrong with it. So I'll just hide it in the ground. And instead of the pastors, uh, so sort of the, the master saying, oh, Precious one, I know you were feeble. God bless you here. I'll have mercy on you. He's like, look, you could have at least put this thing in the bank and made me a little interest. If you didn't do anything else with it, if you didn't invest it in other places, if you just put it in a safe place where it could have earned a little interest. So here's the word I'm, I'm sharing with y'all here real quickly. Of course, you've heard the word of God, which is awesome and great. You may feel like you don't have much, but go ahead and use that little you have. Okay, you may not have much ability. Uh, you may be afraid to do great things. Well, do something. Okay, do something, and then you may find that, oh, well, that sort of worked out. Let me try something else and something else. And before long, you're doing some great things. Now, every day we're not going to do great things. Some days we are going to just do the smart thing and the wise thing and maybe even the safe thing. And put the money in the bank, let it rest there. We're not going to always be making great investments and taking great risks. You know, I don't do that all the time. But there should be sometimes we do that. And you need to understand that just being inactive and saying, I'll do nothing, I won't hurt anybody, but I'm not really going to help anybody. Jesus didn't just say that's not idea situation. He said you're wicked and you're evil. So, hey, get busy, folks. Don't be afraid to try, okay? But it's wicked and evil to not try. Okay, you don't have to do bad things, harming people to be wicked and evil, stealing from them. Just when you fail to use the money, the talents, the gifts, when you fail to get out here and hustle every day and try, that's wicked and evil. Don't be that way, okay? God will bless your efforts. Somebody out here has been discouraged, and I want to encourage you, go forward and try, okay? You'll have some success. I guarantee it. I'm seeing it in my own life. Hang in there, my friends. God bless you.